license. I'm going to know who took me. Well, if your staff served him, then... They didn't serve him. He was drunk before he arrived. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry about this. I'm sure no, Darren didn't you mean... Don't you give that. And you can forget about a flat as well. Sorry? You heard. I'm not having some uncontrollable teenager wrecking my place. So where's the keys? Hmm? Thank you very much. Stay at school, Rizal. Hello, wait. I don't need to wash your fairy, I'm sure. I think you could do with a little reassuring, that's all. Why? What did she say? Oh, no. I am not getting involved in your love life. Well, why did you open your mouth, then? Because this silly spat with you and Tom is making things more difficult between you and Kate. I mean, he is Harriet's father, after all. You can't keep asking the girl to choose. And she said that? Well, she didn't have to. Poor girl's been pulled in all directions. She's only trying to do the best for her daughter. So am I saying. And she knows that. Well, maybe it's time you started to prove it. Huh? Mm. What do you think? Be honest. It's um, a good time for a chat. I want to I talk about Tommy, see? As long as you talk quietly, Harriet's in her room. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to rant. I think there's been enough harsh words between me and Tom, don't you? Sounds encouraging. After all, we are adults. I mean... Tom is Harriet's father. He has a right to be involved. Why the change of heart? I'm well, losing my head, doesn't guess anyway. Maybe it's time for a little coincidence. What do you suggest? I think we should all sit down and discuss this in a reasonable and civilized manner. Hmm. Which reminds me, I've got something for you, too. For me? Well, you shouldn't have. You left this at Claire's the other night. Your mind must have been on other things. The other night? We're all here, then. What's he doing? I don't know why, yeah? What's going on? I called you. I think we I... should discuss our situation. So our situation? What's best for Harriet, of course. I was sleeping. Thanks, Tom. It's all right, then. I'll go. No, I'll go. All right, come on. You've had your fun. You can stop twisting my knife. Now, now, Tom. We're supposed to be having a... A civilized conversation. You may have fooled Kate, but not me. What are you after? Isn't it obvious? I want you to know how it feels to lose the people you love. You're sick. Do you remember what you did when you drove Diane away from me? You cannot stop me from seeing Harriet. I'm her father. Well, maybe that's what it says on the birth certificate. But that's not what Harriet thinks. And if you're waiting for the day when she turns around and calls you daddy, you can think again. Because that's never going to come. I want to make damn sure of that. Stay. Keep it down, will ya? This is a pub, not a playground. Hey! It's Eddie West, Kate. Oh, I forgot. The school rang. Little Harriet's been taken ill. Kate went to fetch her. Well, he isn't serious, is it? But I don't know. She didn't say. Sorry. Do you fancy a drink to celebrate? I can't. I've got a meeting with Claire. Another one? Part two. <laughs> I'll see you back at the b, b Behave yourself. I'm really sorry things didn't work out about a flat. It's all right. You had your reasons. Yeah, well, all the same, if I hear of any other flats going, you'll be the, uh, the first to know. OK. Meet! I thought you said you hadn't arranged to see him. We haven't planned anything. We found out Harriet was ill and I didn't have the heart to turn him away. Yeah, well, you're too kind. That's your trouble. <laughs> Vicky, I meant to ask, how's the uh, flat hunting going? I'm on my way to the estate agents now, as it happens. So. Yeah, well, I know. It's, it's tough. That is a word for it, yes. Anyway, I'd better get on. Three days isn't very long to find somewhere to live. Well, good luck. Thank you. What was that all about? Nicky and her kids have been evicted and uh, somehow I feel responsible. Your fault. Yeah, I know that. I just wish I could help. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, something up. Well, it probably sounds strange, but I feel really guilty staying here when Nikki and her kids are going to be out on the street. I thought you wanted to live here. Oh, I do. I just feel selfish having the whole flat when we could be staying with you in the pub. I don't suppose... I suppose what? Well... Your offer, does it still stand? Okay, I meant what I said. I, I love us to live together. So you wouldn't mind? <laughs> Nothing that made me happier. And we could be really helping out Nicky and our kids, right? You are a good man, Pete Kellen. 
Mm. Well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Street. Pick up some materials watches from town before my first appointment. All right. Well, you better get a move on. It's too late to get them now. Oh, I'll have to go at lunchtime. Well, what's the problem? Well, that's when I was going to move the rest of my stuff in here. Well, you can do it this afternoon. I'll give you a hand. I can't. I've got appointments all day. I'll even be pushed to pick up Harriet from Rosen after school. Well, what time do you have to collect her? Five. And my last appointment's in Kent. I'll have to hope the traffic's not bad. Well, no, you won't, because I can pick Harriet up. But you've got a pub to run. Well, I'm sure I can give myself half an hour off. Really? Yeah. And when you finish work, you can have a nice, hot, relaxing bath. Then we can move your stuff in. Oh, thanks. You see? <laughs> Nothing to worry about. I know, I know. Look, I've got to use the best man for the job. Nicky. There you go. It's all yours. You can move in whenever you want. What's going on? She's staying at the flat. What flat? The one downstairs from you. I just found out last night. It's great. Listen, I can't thank you enough. I really appreciate this. Well, it's not a problem. And if there's anything that needs doing, you just give me a shout, yeah? I will. Gabby, may I have a cup of coffee, please? Yeah, sure. I'm going down because I'm always late for the most important clients. Well, I'm sure you'll charm them once you get there. So I might get me a busy day, though. You got a lot on. Much. Well, if you need any help, I can take Harriet for a bit. Thanks for the offer, but I'll manage. You sure? Yeah, I've already got Pete helping out. He's picking her up from her friends later. OK. Maybe another time. Sorry. Right, I'll just get my stuff and we'll be off, all right? Yeah, great. Do you coffee? Uh, no, thanks. Tom? Yeah? I was wondering if you could do me a favour. Why should I want to do you any favours? See yourself. I'll find someone else to help out with Harry. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. What do you want me to do? Pick Harriet up from a friend's house after school. And why can't you do it? My well, something's come up. I've got this uh, meeting to go to. I can't get out of it. So why ask me? Would you want to do it or not? Like I said, I can't find someone else. I don't know. Tom, if it's a problem, forget it, yeah? How about you? Well, I might be. No, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll pick her up. Just give me the details. Hang on a second. You, uh, you haven't got a car, have you? It's okay, I can borrow Roy's. Right, well, if you're sure. Here's the, uh, here's the address of Rosie's parents. You can carry it up about five, yeah? Okay. Oh, and, uh, don't be late. He's up to something. What was all that about? Um, no idea. Oh, it's only a pub blackboard, for goodness sake. It's nothing to get worked up about. Yes, well, perhaps he doesn't like your handwriting. Message for Tom Shackleford. This is Rosie's father. I think you're due to pick up Harriet from our house this afternoon, but uh, I'm taking the girls to the cinema. So uh, could you come at 6.30 instead of 5? And we'll see you then. Bye. Anyone else? I'm at a meeting. Batman. Okay. See you later. Yes, fine, fine. Ben's house. And he hasn't turned up. Oh, dear. Poor little thing. She's going to think she's been abandoned. I'm, uh, going to go and get her. I'll see you later, yeah? Yes. It's about Pete. It's about me, too. You really want me to take this seriously, don't you? Yes, of course I do. Well, then we're going to have to discuss it with Pete, whether you like it or not. Hang on, darling. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What do you want? Good telling. Got your bag? Yeah. Good girl. Ooh. Come on, guy. Peace. Five minutes, yeah? Mummies! Okay, sorry she's late. Uh, I asked Tom to pick her up, but he didn't make it. I know, Sadie told me. 